See the fish jumping? See the fish jumping? That's a good sign, ain't it? Okay, morning guys. Today they're pumping out this little dugout lake. If I say lake, somebody's gonna be really upset. The experts don't think it's a lake. <laughs> it's a body of water. Uh, what they're doing here is taking all the water out to get the fish, which seems a little strange, but that's how they've done it for generations. There we go. He had a broken hose here. He might still have a broken hose. It looks like a sprinkler system. Lots of fish jumping. That's on the piece of motorbike tube one fix. So how this works, this lake is not dug out mud hole, whatever you want to call it. It, it. It's not stocked. These fish got in there themselves. If you look at this as a huge fish trap, that's what it is. In the rainy season, this fills up with water, migrating fish find their way in there and they stay. Some breed, nature happens. <laughs> And then this time of year, this is uh, in the January. I think he might need to cut the end off his hose. You see the kid way down there? That's done. He's playing with the water already. Could be an interesting day. <laughs> He's something else. Oh, where was I saying? Uh, the fish that you could, that we expect to find in here. Climbing perch, for sure. Almost for sure. Uh, snakehead, uh, walking catfish, maybe uh, garami, the spotted garami. Uh, there won't be anything like tilapia or anything like that. They're not uh, migratory walking type fish. How does the fish get in here? Uh, this this farm is flooded. Last year it was a lot of rain, very, very wet season. There was so much fish swimming around in and around the rice last year. They caught so much fish that that's what everybody ate for months. Nothing but fish. It got to the point that I stopped raising fish or slowed down my, uh, my catfish production because we didn't need the fish anymore. There was just so much. When the farm is flooded, they catch the they catch the fish by moving the water around. You know, when you drain the water out of the farm into it and into the next paddy, then you catch the fish, and it works good. I'm seeing mostly minnows. There'll be minnows in here for sure. There might be eels. We did a I have another video maybe three years ago on this one. There was a lot of eels, probably buckets full of eels came out of here. Yeah, I get a lot of comments, people saying you're going to destroy the population, you're eating all the small fish, and it makes sense that that's what would happen, but it doesn't. It works. For some reason, it works. You know, and this is nothing new. It's been generations. It's all over Southeast Asia. This is how they do it. And occasionally, you get the monster, the, the great big one that finds its way in there. This time of year, you know, the farm is so uh, dry, you wouldn't think there'd be anything in here, but this, this ground is full of life if you dig down for it. Fish bury themselves, crab, frogs, you never know, snails. Lots of life in this uh, dead looking farm, not for sure. Now we wait, probably take a couple hours to get the water out. I'll show you. See this right here? This is where cows go down every day to get their water. I don't know whose cows, but it's all beat up. The cows go in here and drink. So there would be more water if not for somebody's cows. Uh, are we saving the water? That's another popular question. No, the water goes back into the ground. It'll flood over there, grass will grow, cows will eat. It works. Okay, I'll come back when the water is gone. Let's see what we got. Okay, crazy boy.
Looks nice, huh? Remember this lake? This is the one that I stalked a few years ago. What a nightmare that was. <laughs> Very popular video. Lots of fish in here too. See them at night. I thought this is the one they were doing today, but not. There we go, boys, there we go. Carp. <laughs> Surprised to see carp in here. Under this old log, there's a couple. Catfish, that is. Oh, another carp. We don't normally get carp. Not unless they're stocked. Uh, occasionally we get them uh, <laughs> catfish coming down there. Lots of catfish. Oh, oh. but who <laughs> catfish cut his finger? Right here. You'll get him now. You watch it see. Right beside the bucket is a garami. That one. Spotted garami. Now. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, and I've done lots of them, what he's gonna do is grab the easy ones and then come back and start digging in the in the mud and find the ones that's buried themselves. And uh, there's still a few carp over here. I just saw two, they're smaller. Look at that, flying fish. That was a garami, I think. Yeah, a few garamis in there. So what happens here, um, lost my shoe, over during the day and tonight this water will all drain down to the low spot right where that hole is and tomorrow they'll be fishing the hole again. Any that get missed today will probably be in that hole tomorrow morning. Now, this, now the fun starts. Dirty job. <laughs> Two catfish right there. <laughs> See that? It's naked. Oh, nice one, nice one, nice one. That's, that's the one we want. That's a one kilo snakehead, I would say. Very close anyway. Uh, no, maybe not that big. Nice one. Whoa, it's like a tree stump. You see how well they can hide? Look at that, look at that. He's coming, he's coming. And to think this this hole was dry. Well a year ago they pumped it out, but it was last March when the rain started. Early last year. Go right on in, buddy. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a good one to steam. I didn't have the net. Where's the net? Small snakehead. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> See that? You would have never known that fish was there. Oh, he got back out. I think we need another bucket. 
Ugh, it's ugly. Buggers do some more. Not very well planned today. How did he end up here alone with no equipment? Oh, 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 oh. oh the big one. Got him. No idea that fish was there, huh? They got most of them. A few smaller ones still hiding. We'll get them cleaned up and see what there is. Eating good tonight, I tell you what. Okay, let's check out the haul. That bucket is full. Look at all those fish, huh? We'll get them cleaned up, they'll be beautiful. Don't worry. This one, let's see what's in here. Three quarters full. Amazing how much fish come out of that little hole. All right, I'll clean them up and we'll take a look at them. Okay, here's what we got. This is all snakehead. That's probably the biggest one there. He's over a kilo for sure. This size here, they sell for more money, about 100 baht a kilo, where the small ones are 60 or 70 baht. This size, for the 70 baht a kilo. This one, 100 baht a kilo, at least. You know, it depends on where you're getting them. Some nice fish there. Those are the best eating ones, that's for sure. I will clean these and freeze them. The other ones are going to the farm. And I'm sure a lot of them will be given away. There's a couple in here that I haven't seen before. This is a Golby. He's dead, unfortunately. I able to keep them. They're very cool. Worth a lot of money, these guys. It's the ones they sell uh, in the religious places to let go for good luck, you know? I've shown them a few times in the videos. Got some carp. I don't know how many. Have a few different kinds of gourami. Some nice ones. Biggest ones I've seen. I haven't seen the spotted gourami that we normally get. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, walking catfish we get. No big walking catfish this year. They're all about the same size. These are called uh, climbing perch. They're really good fried. I, I really like these. 
Not not so much with the. The only one that's not really good for me is the carp. Yeah, I wish the, the gourami was alive. There's another one in here that looks like, or sorry, the gobi. I wish he was alive. There's another one that looks kind of like uh, this one. I don't know if that's some kind of gourami or not. Really cool looking fish. Look at this. Nice, huh? Nice looking fish. Never seen those before. So this one I've never seen before and the goby we've never gotten around here before. A few, uh, few carp, they're not huge. They get really big. But, uh, you know, it's only been a few months. So. Not bad for free food, but, you know, none of this stuff. No work was done. The only only work was to catch them today, and the only cost was a cup of gasoline to run the pump for an hour. That's it. Yeah, look at all these beautiful fish. A lot of people will be eating good. As you know, this is Thailand. A large percentage of this will be given away today. So they do things around here. The only ones that don't get given away. It's a snakehead, and that's because I said so. <laughs> They'll be going in the freezer for the family. Nice, huh? Nice looking fish. I really wish the goby was alive. But he's not. I don't think. I don't think he's alive. Come on, come on. He's, he's, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive! Okay, I'm gonna try and save this one. I'm gonna try and save this one. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I put them here. Hopefully, the snakehead don't eat them. <laughs> we did get some half-eaten fish. I assume it's regurgitated from one of these guys. Interrupted somebody's breakfast. Amazing to have this many big snakehead and this many small fish, you know? But that's how it is. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. The dogs are crazy.